In this video, we are going to discuss the actual solution of uh, Google programming of a manufacturing company. So, uh, as you can see on your screens, we have an Excel sheet and we have sales reserved for labor, profit and material. So, the objective function that was formulated in our previous video was this one in which the first priority was D1 minus, then D2 minus, D1 plus and D3 plus. And these were the three constraints containing the deviational variables D1 minus and D1 plus. So, uh, we have here cells for labor, profit and uh, material. We will first uh, uh, fill the values, uh, uh, plug in the values for these three constraints. Um, just to clarify here, this 1, 2, 3 is for the product description. It has got no use in the solver, but here I have mentioned it for, you know, for identifying product 1. 1, 2 and 3. So uh, let's do it for the for the three constraints. So for the labor we know that we have 5 then 2 and then 4 and for profit the, co the coefficients are 3, 5 and 2 and for the material they are 4 and 6 and 3. So now let's see how the uh, constraints are formulated so we will now first formulate the left hand side of the first constraint we will plug in the formula for this one for this constraint so I have already uh, already done for the three constraints but I'll show you how it is done so it will be it is this is equal to 5 into x1 so this is 5 and multiplied by the x1 so these two cells here uh, this is these two cells are for the purpose these these two three cells are showing x1 x2 and x3 so 5 into x1 5 into x1 plus okay i'll do it again so it is this is this is equal to 5 multiplied by x1 this is x1 plus 2 into x2 plus uh, 4 into x3 all right and then it says plus d1 minus and minus d1 plus so i have uh, i have made two new columns for deviation variables the first one is for the negative deviation variable the second one is the positive the first row is for the d1 second is for d2 and the third is for the d3 so uh, in our constraint we have plus d1 minus and then minus d1 plus so this is our first constraint similarly we can uh, we will we will do it for the uh, second constraint and that says 3 into x1 3 into this is x1 plus 5 into x2 and this is our x2 plus 2 into x3 and this is our x3 and this is plus d2 minus now this the second row yellow highlighted row this is for d2 and then minus d2 plus so this is the this is the second constraint similarly i have also i have already done um, the formula for the i have already plugged in the formula for the third, third constraint so we have these three constraints now plugged in now let's solve it our first priority goal was to minimize d1 minus so this cell it represents here this is d1 minus this is d1 minus and this one is the second priority is d2 minus so this is d2 minus and the third priority is d1 plus so this is d1 plus and the fourth priority is d3 plus so this is our d3 this is our uh, the fourth priority is d3 plus so now let's solve it so we go to the data tab and here we have solver so i have already reset the solver so the our objective is because we are we will we will be doing this problem sequentially that means that first we will look at our first priority goal that is d1 minus so we will set the objective to equal to this 
this cell uh, d1 minus or just let me first erase the annotation so things become more clear to you so I'm just deleting them and uh, now let's do the solver thing again so we go to the solver we set the objective the objective is this d1 minus and we want to minimize it and we, and by changing which cells so we want to change these three cells we select these three cells we press then comma and then these six values of the deviational variables so we want to uh, we want to change these uh, variable cells okay and this is subject to the constraints so we have to add constraints so uh, before adding the constraint I missed one thing so I am going back to the excel sheet so just close it for a moment because I have typed in the constraints here the right hand side of the constraint 1 2 and 3 on the sorry this this is the, this is the left hand side of the constraint 1 2 and then 3 so on the right hand side values I forgot to plug in so let's plug them in so this is 400 244 and 500 now hopefully we are all set so now we add the constraints we have three constraints which are mentioned here so we select all of them and they are equal to these three these three values and then we press ok and then we solve it because the non-negativity is selected and the simplex lp is also there so let's solve it so when we solve it then we see that our first goal d1 minus it is done okay and the now the second goal was d2 minus it has got some value here so uh, and then and then uh, d3 d1 plus is also zero but right now we are focusing on the first goal and the first goal it is achieved so that means that uh, we have to now uh, uh, solve it for the uh, first uh, first goal is done so let's solve it for the second goal third goal and then fourth goal so what we will do we will copy this whole sheet and we will copy this whole thing and when then we will and then we'll, and then we will paste it into the next sheet of the excel so if you can see below it is it shows the p1 that is the priority one goal is done here so let's move to the second sheet and this is our second sheet so uh, we have pasted the same thing there but now we will make some changes here and what are those changes because the first goal is achieved this is this this is the first goal and it is it is achieved so we will now put it as a constraint we will plug it as a constraint how let's see so uh, let's reset the solver to show how it's done now we have achieved the first goal and now we will uh, set the objective for the second goal and the second second goal is d2 minus so we will select this cell we want to minimize it by changing which values by changing all these values and comma and the three values x1 x2 and x3 by changing which constraints we have already specified the constraint these three equal to the these three right hand side values in addition to this constraint now we will also add the first goal which we achieved as a constraint so we will say that this goal which we have already achieved in the previous part we will set it equal to zero we will set it equal to zero and then we will solve it it's okay so now just we will solve it so here we see that now we have uh, because the first goal was all already achieved now d2 minus it is also zero that means we have also achieved the second goal in this sheet so the third goal if you look at the if this mathematical model the third goal was d1 plus so in this in this uh, iteration we have also achieved this one this is this was our third goal so 
uh, we have achieved our first goal this is this is our second and the third is achieved so uh, and when we are when we achieve first second and third goal the values for the product one two and three were found as follows now what was our fourth goal that was the d3 plus so what we are going to do we are now going to again copy paste this sheet and we will go to the next excel sheet and try solving it for the fourth goal right now in this in this iteration the value of the d3 plus is 204.2 we want it to be zero we, we want it to be zero uh, because we have already achieved d1 minus equal to zero d2 minus equal to zero and d3 d1 plus also equal to zero so now we want to achieve our fourth goal let's see if we can achieve it so we will copy all this sheet again and we will copy all this uh, sheet and move to the next excel sheet so here you see this is my fourth this is by far the fourth goal so in the fourth goal uh, we again uh, open the solver and again i am resetting it so, so that you can see how it is done now the objective is the fourth goal that that was the what what was its fourth goal fourth goal was d3 plus so we will set the objective as the d3 plus and we want to minimize it by changing which values by changing these deviational variable values and comma these three values okay and we will add the constraints now since we have already achieved the first goal and we will we will now put it as a constraint this is equal to zero we have already achieved the second goal uh, which was uh, d2 minus so we will put it we will also uh, no, there is something sorry sorry uh, i just made a mistake in uh, I, uh, in uh, the objective function is d d1 d3 plus okay now uh, we have already achieved the first goal now we will uh, also now we will uh, add the second goal uh, this was first this is second as also a constraint so add it as a constraint so we will put this also equal to zero okay and we have also achieved in our previous iteration the third goal and third goal will now also put it as equal to this is a third goal we will also put it as equal to zero this is our goal number three okay so this is these three goals have have been put in addition we have our constraints that is the left hand sides of these three constraints it is equal to the right hand side of these right hand side values so here it is the complete mathematical model we just solve it and see what happens so our results are telling us that uh, there is no improvement in the result although we have achieved the first goal we have achieved the second goal we have achieved the third goal but the solution is not improving it is still 204.2 and just for just to remind you if i go back to the previous sheet it was also 204.2 there so that means after even after uh, plugging in the uh, the first second and third uh, goals as constraints there is no improvement in our solution there's no improvement in our solution so that means that this is the final solution the company should produce product one in the quantities of 10.53 product two in 93.68 and product three as uh, company should not produce product three so this is this should be the product mix if these product mix is done and then the three goals the first one was uh, max maximizing the uh, the labor are available the profit the overtime is achieved uh, although we were not able to achieve the last goal that was to uh, to 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 minimize the uh, material purchased so uh, this is a three step 
solution you, you have to solve it sequentially and you have to keep solving it until there is no improvement in the solution like as you have just seen our solution did not improve and the value of the d3 plus was 204.2 in the last last iteration and in this iteration it was again 204.2 this means that we should stop and no better solution now can be achieved so this is the complete solution of the goal programming model that we formulated for a manufacturing company so hopefully you have underst understood this thing so if you have any question just uh, uh, write it in the comments thank you very much